Thomas. My name is Joseph. It's very yeah. nice to meet you. Nice. What we're looking at here, you're saying this is a spirulina algae yes. column. Yes. This is. You have a biogas digester yeah. in that room. In that room. You're producing your biogas, which yes. is about 60 to 70 percent methane and 30 yes. to 40 percent carbon dioxide, a little bit of hydrogen sulfide. Yes. You're bubbling it down the bottom of this. Bottom of this. Yeah. As the bubbles go up, the spirulina is consuming the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide. Yeah. producing more spirulina. Yes. The methane that results at the top then is a yes. pure quality methane, Meta. which yes. you're then yeah. putting back putting into back a storage in vessel. vessel. Storage vessel. Yeah. Meanwhile, the spirulina you grow can be the feedstock or the food yeah. for the biogas yes. bacteria. That's true. And you're using yeah. solar energy to produce yeah. that. Yeah. That's and that's true. why the window is yes. here. Yes. An absolutely beautiful process. The question I have is what happens, given that now you have oxygen also being produced, are you not sending back a dangerous mixture of oxygen and methane? No, not. Uh, uh, it's not uh, that kind of... Uh, we're just uh, experimenting it here mm -hmm. uh, because uh, there is uh, no other uh, company or uh, anybody uh, that are using this boat together. Mm -hmm. uh, this right, is you're the first time yeah, using algae. Uh, yes, yes, plus and biogas, biogas together uh, to purify the uh, biogas right. and to reach the uh, more quality metal. Let me show you uh, our digestion. Mm -hmm. It is also a strange digestion. Yeah. This is also a strange digestion. Uh, we are we have got uh, four uh, five parts here. Mm -hmm. We're uh, feeding the digestion from here, mm -hmm. and uh, stage by stage it goes. And uh, we really uh, have the best metal production uh, production uh, from this. Stage. Aha, as this baffles yeah. running all the way to the top of overstill? Yes, yes. Okay, yes. so this goes up to here. Yes, uh, and uh, no, uh, these uh, chambers, substrate, uh, right. never mixes together. Uh -huh. uh, it slowly goes from here to there and uh, it increases the uh, concentration, productivity of productivity. the uh, Digestive. So it's like a cow having four stomachs. Yes, yes. Stomach one, you probably have a lot of hydrolysis going on. Yes. So yes, acid that's production in here. Here, uh, here uh, purifying. Uh, I, I don't know what the stage is doing. And the metal production is here and there. And there. And so I don't see. So I see this baffle goes down to here. This one goes down to. Well, they are all in the same level. They're on the same level. Yeah. I see. Okay. And so it goes like this. Yes. That's true. Okay. And uh, now we're uh, trying to uh, make it... Insulation. Yeah. To make it warm. Uh, you have a heating panel. Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, heat resistance mm -hmm. in the, uh, this right. line. You know? Yes. So that goes underneath here. Underneath yeah. the insulation. Yes. Heats the tank from underneath. Yes. And then you have and this mixer. Mi yeah. Mixer. And uh, there's a uh, heating resistance in the mixer. Also oh, now. okay. Yeah. We are, why, why the double heat? Yeah, we are heating it inside. Yeah, and we are controlling uh, it with this uh, to uh, make it stay on the you know uh, stable uh, heat. stable temperature. Yeah. temperature. What about your pH? Oh, uh, we are controlling also uh, from here. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a uh, software that we produced. Uh, we can control it from here, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, there are sensors in the uh, pH sensors, sensors in yeah. here, or yeah, it goes mm -hmm. here. Okay, uh, we control the pH. pH from both from here and here, two yes. two places. Two places. And you find it's much more acid here, a lower pH here, and a yes. higher and pH also, here. Yes, that's true. Yeah, you really know this business. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so I, I yeah, do a lot uh, of this is our uh, tank. Or, uh, it's working with the pressure of the water. You know, uh, mm -hmm. here is uh, uh, here is the biogas. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you see how it goes, and uh, we take it there. When we uh, open the water, uh, it makes pressure and pushes the gas pushes out. The gas oh, the brilliant! Yeah, and uh, we took it now mm -hmm. uh, to demonstrate. 
uh, what we are doing here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm going to make a food, maybe eggs. Yeah. 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 Later. Uh, if you do it, if you demonstrate it, uh, I'll take a video and uh, I can send it to you. That would be great. Yeah, okay. I would appreciate that. What is this chamber here? Ah, it's another digestion. Okay. Uh, we are uh, trying to uh, uh, do some experiment uh, to uh, prove the productivity of this digester. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, digesting this also, and that also, and uh, we are trying to uh, prove that this digester is very productive than this. More efficient, because right? yeah, because uh, of the stages. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas this is a batch thing. Yeah. But do you, you do you do continuous feeding, or is it one time batch? Let it use up all the energy, then take it apart and put more. Or are no, you no, feeding no, it all the time? It's a continuous system. Sorry. Yeah, uh, both are uh, continuous systems. And you're using food waste. Yes. Yeah. Food waste. Uh, sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes, you know, uh, animal uh, substrate. Yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, we use uh, vegetables, probably. Yeah. Uh, anything organic sure. that we can use. And uh, we have made, uh, I guess, hundreds of uh, experiments on other substrates. Fantastic. What has been your experience with meat because of its nitrogen content? Do you find the pH is too alkaline? Yes. It is. Yes. And you have to buffer it with yes. carbon? Yes, that's true. Okay. I mean, it's yeah. And why, why is a light continuously going on and off here? Oh, uh, it is, uh, there is a signal going to the uh, engine here. Mm -hmm. uh, and we are controlling that signal because uh, we are still uh, having some problems to control that engine there. You know? Uh -huh. uh, and we are con controlling the signal uh, because it is really hard to uh, work that engine in, in this uh, slow speed. Uh, you know, uh, we also have to control the RPM here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, for uh, slowing the that engine uh, is ah you're yeah. using the resistance of yeah. these yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tungsten filaments yes. to keep yes. the engine running yes. at a slower uh, speed yes it's slow just speed. a dump it's yeah. a heat dump yeah. it's a heat dump yeah okay we're or electric dump electric dump um, we're just seeing how the signal uh, electric signal goes to the engine and watching it here okay and so this is what's producing that electricity yeah this motor is is this this is just being used to drive this shaft yes. That's true. But you're saying because you wanted a constant speed, yeah, it's, constant it's, it would overdrive, yeah, we, it would spin we, this too yes. fast. We are, we are sending uh, signals mm -hmm. and uh, we are uh, watching the signal from the Sine wave. Yeah, uh, that's not yeah, uh, it's just a a part, part of the digestive. Yeah. Uh, it's because this would otherwise it would go too yeah. fast. Yeah, it, it would go too fast. Oh, that's interesting. Absolutely. Because uh, there's a threat in it and it has to be powerful, mm -hmm. also small. Powerful uh, and slow. Uh, yeah. Uh, to make it this low, uh, we have to uh, use a card here, you see, in this one, these cards are, are produced. Okay, so these are microcontrollers yeah. that are, yeah, they are running the circuit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is all numerically yeah. controlled. Why is it that you, um, why is it not just with gearing that you can get it to go slowly? Oh, uh, because uh, this is uh, for our laboratories, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, uh, our engineers and uh, some uh, academic person are not like us. <laughs> you know, uh, they always want to do it <laughs> from here, yeah, right. uh, by controlling from the uh, LCD monitor, uh, and then we are producing this for them. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, we are producing something uh, that can really take your interest. Uh, we are making it, uh, you know. One meter to two meter uh, right. uh, digester uh, for uh, small uh, small kitchens, small kitchens, and also uh, for uh, some uh, small farmers. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got three or four calls. Uh, right. Uh, we we were always building some uh, ten cubic meters, uh, yeah, six cubic digesters. meters. Right. And uh, we we are also making business in Nigeria, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, we also uh, realized that you know, we need some local uh, and little digesters yeah. uh, to, uh, to make it work because uh, you can't uh, just bring them together to make uh, huge right. digesters. Uh, it, it's also expensive. Yeah. Uh, and we decided to make uh, some little versions of, of them. Mm -hmm. uh, and next month we are going to build it uh, in a village here. Cool. Uh, and then uh, we are going to uh, make it, uh, how you say, uh, 
mass production. Mass production, though. Fantastic. And you, you said that the water pressure is yeah. doing things. Why are there three columns? Is that yeah. is there a specific reason? I will explain. Mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, because uh, if I want to, I can close one of these, mm -hmm. or one of these, or I can use two of them. Uh, it depends on the, uh, the gas production, the gas production, and the uh, velocity of the digester. The what? Uh, the velocity? Yeah. How the rate of production? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I want this uh, to be uh, to work with my other digesters also. When I use the mm -hmm. digester, I only use one. Okay. Bar of the so they're separated. Yeah, they're Although separated. the water is the same. Yeah, uh, water is uh, in the uh, outside. Mm -hmm. And yet I see a water yeah. level here. So the water level is here now, but yeah. inside the columns it's high. It's high. And the gas is, you know, inside the column. Do you find there's a rate, I'm seeing in my digesters, a rate of every five seconds a burst of gas? Oh yes, of course. Uh, it depends on the pressure of the water. Sure. Yeah. Uh, when the pressure of the gas uh, eliminates the pressure of the water, it goes. And, uh, yes, that's true. Uh, it has a rate. Mm -hmm. uh, when you uh, look at your clock and watch it, uh, you can count on it. Yeah. So you're one, one thousand, two, yeah. one thousand, three, yeah. one thousand, four, uh, one thousand. We have just uh, made a uh, feeling to the digester, digester uh, and it's really productive. You know, uh, one hour before, and there, there were no gas in it. Really? Yeah, it's a one hour production. From there to there? Yeah. How many liters is that, do you think? Uh, it looks like three liters now? I guess. So yeah. you're getting three or, three, five, three or five liters an hour? Five liters an hour. Uh, when it goes. comes to here, uh, we just export that. Uh, we can make some food here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I, my wife and I cook on biogas every day. Yeah. We have it in our house. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. Uh, when, when I see this kind of people using biogas, uh, it's, it's really good uh, for uh, you know uh, world energy. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. It's a. And you said now though, the gas from here is going out to the spirulina yeah. algae tank, yes. and then it's coming back yeah. here. Yeah. And going where? Going uh, to here. Okay. You know, and to there. Have you Not checked to see what the composition is of this? No, not yet. I have to be really curious. Because yeah. I keep thinking about the oxygen. That's You're very lucky because it, it is so new. Oh, so new. Yeah, really I am lucky. It's so new, yeah. And then this is, what is this? Oh, uh, that's the uh, oldest version of this. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's the controller of uh, this one. Uh, because uh, we bought it. Uh, there's a uh, company. Mm -hmm. uh, Sartorius. Company, yeah, Sartorius. Yeah. And they're producing it. Uh, but we decided to uh, produce our um, yeah. Control, yes, yeah. And then this retort here, what was this being yeah, used uh, It's all production too. Huh? Uh, it's, uh, it's a normal digester. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just for the window yeah. to look Just inside. a copy of this, uh, but the bigger one. Right. Yeah. The bigger retort. Well, it's also our production. That's nice. Oh, I'm really privileged. Yes. I hope you will come and uh, join our Facebook group. We have a group okay. called Solar yeah, Cities we, Biogas. We, we do too. Ah. Uh, I will add uh, your uh, page and uh, I'll I'll like that. ours. Please, thank okay, you. Yeah. And then I'll give you my, my card because we're 560 people from around the world doing this oh. at the home level yes. uh, or the university level and we like to share ideas and innovations. Yes. Uh, this is a really good innovation because yeah. let me show you. We have, mm -hmm. we have more. Here we produce more. Yeah. You can see the plants. Uh, yeah, very culture. Yeah. Uh, because uh, we have to hold this culture uh, on us uh, to produce more. You know? mm -hmm. uh, when you make a pool, right. uh, then uh, you use a little bit of this algae and it goes and goes and goes mm -hmm. and if we uh, really uh, manage to uh, bring biogas and algae together and that is fantastic because uh, you uh, make to go uh, this one uh, much more production yeah. and you really provide your uh, biogas from there, carbon dioxide. In Italy in the community called Damanhur near Torino northern Italy we started a biogas thing, and there now are 
bubbly CO2, yeah. but what they do that's different from what you're doing is they take the biogas from the bladder that they're holding it in, they pass it first through a sulfur filter, okay, some yeah. iron issue, yeah. then they put it in a biogas generator, yeah. generate electricity, and the carbon dioxide yeah. from the generator goes in the algae tank yeah. to grow the algae to yeah. feed back to the biodigester, but yes. they're not purifying. Uh, we, have, uh, we haven't just uh, put a generator in this uh, you know, system, mm -hmm. uh, but we, we are thinking to. Yeah, it's really, really easy. Yeah, um, that, that, that's very easy. There's a, a device I have that I showed today that you hook between the air filter and the carburetor. Yes. We get them from a company in West Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that makes the regulation of air yeah. and gas, and so yeah. you can use any generator. You and don't need to buy a special yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we made uh, some research about it, mm -hmm. uh, and we have found some uh, really good generators uh, to use them together. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, when, we, uh, when we think that to use this at uh, little farms and uh, for uh, mm -hmm. uh, villages, uh, we, we, we really need, need that. Yeah. Uh, you lose some energy when uh, producing electricity yes. uh, because heat transfers. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it is really uh, it's the low carbon no efficiency. Yeah. It is. I would say that it's better than sun and wind energy. Yeah. Yeah. People don't realize that we we've been saying in our work that biogas is the best form of solar energy. Yes. You're capturing photosynthetic uh, solar energy yes. is yes. stored in food waste, which is a better yes. battery yes. than a battery, yes. because it's waste. That's true. You can really... Uh, you're making an energy stock. Yeah. And you can do it in sun. Uh, I made a research for it. Uh, you can maybe stock that energy in some ceramic... Uh, things for four days, maybe. Yeah, but uh, here we can stock our energy all the time. Yeah. It, it is full of energy. Yeah, I mean, methane uh, can be stored yeah. for millions of years. So yeah. it's, uh, uh, it's great. We have just had our uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. to the <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> and we are producing the cooking energy yeah. of our next lunch. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Isn't it wonderful? That's wonderful. We're, uh, it's yeah. a bright new future. And you can think this system yeah. I'm really, really proud to meet you, excited to meet you. I look forward to continuing this. Uh, I'm looking for it, I can't find it.